guys, welcome to Rob's house. We are out here in East Tennessee today on a beautiful Saturday evening for a Cars and Coffee event. We got the vet out today, back on the road since our little mishap on the interstate with a semi. We got a brand new, brand new rear wheel on the car. And uh, new alignment, everything's good to go. We drove it here, you know, cruising on the highway, uh, highway speeds, everything feels good now. No underlying damage, that's a good day. We got lucky. We got a nice turnout. We're actually in the VIP section, so we're here super early, and we already have a very, very nice turnout out here today. You can see all of the cars still rolling in. Got a couple of R8s over here. Got David all set up over here, finishing touch booth. Got the rat rod out. I guess it runs now, sort of. And uh, the GTR looking awesome with its fresh wrap between the Wasabi Green and the Texas Forge Carbon looks awesome it looks like it's gonna be a pretty crazy turnout we got fd fdr 7 roll in hell yeah and uh oh, a little little viper action i was actually supposed to bring both my cars but the viper had a wiring issue as usual the viper is broken again i think it was resolved last night blake got back to me and said uh, that the car is back up and running but i didn't have enough time um to figure out who was going to drive it here blah 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 so you know long story short it's not here but you know such as life. We've got a little C6 race car action going over here with the chassis mount. Look at that, repping BTR with the big old chassis mount on it. Love to see it. I love to see street-driven race cars. Anyway, we'll check back in with you guys when everyone gets here, and I'll see you once the parking lot's filled up. All right, guys, we got a full parking lot now. We're gonna do a lap. So I didn't realize before when this thing rolled in, this is a right-hand drive FDR X7, which is pretty sick. Some kind of Ferrari over here. I don't know Ferraris, what is that? Uh, that is a California. Boring. Uh, moving on. Got the uh, Gen 5 Viper over here. Hell yeah. We got an RS6. Pretty sick. On some like 22s or something. These wheels are massive. Little LS swapped FRS action over here. Pretty cool. Something you don't see every day. And he's got the LSX badge. LS badged appropriately. Of course, we're lined up back here. Uh, this GTR rolled in. This thing looks sick. I mean, I don't usually like exposed hardware wide body kits, but this one looks pretty ridiculous in a good way. It's pretty thick. The dish on those wheels are insane. Yeah, those things make a lot of power with just tune. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, they're way, the RS6 is way detuned from the factory. The problem is they cost like a million dollars, so. It's like a $150,000 wagon, and then like every part for it is like dumb expensive, so. Dude, Terminator? Hell yeah, brother. Dude, the early 2000s, man, this was like, this was the car, you know? Badass, dude, big old whipple on it, as it should be. Gotta love it, little, little piece of, uh, of my childhood, Jamie's young adulthood, and you know, it has the Toyota Camry interior as it's supposed to have. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, the gauge clusters in these things remind me of lit literally old Camrys. They are so <laughs> They look so bad on the inside. <laughs> Still a really cool car, though. I mean, no, dude, they were they were like the king of the street back in the day when they first came out. That was like that was the car, man. They were the Terminator. Oh, the Terminator. Yeah, and that motor's bulletproof. That motor is bulletproof. Yeah, two R8s here. This uh, this one's a nice green. It has, it has twins. Yeah, ah, yeah, it has twins. I saw the bluff. I mean, you can't really see much, but you can see the bluff. I was in the back. You see the bluffs. It's twinned, for sure. Ram over here is dumped. Love it. 26 inch wheels, right? their wheels are massive. They don't look that big because it's a truck, but standing next to it, they're big. They're real big. Now this thing, this thing right here. Nicest car here. It's, it probably is the nicest car here, yeah, actually. It's, it's so clean. We saw this already, but I had to get it on the vlog, dude. Like, first of all, okay, this is just like the trunk, right? Look at the interior on this thing. Dude, it's perfect. Even the engine dress up, it's not over the top, it's just clean. Like everything about it, look at this. Even like this, dude, just the dress up, like the covering and everything, like it's so... It's gotta be the nicest car here, and it's bagged. Absolutely dumped. Look at this thing. With the deep dish, obviously, you know, as it should be. What? Oh, <laughs> oh. Right? Oh, oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. The big leaf blower on the front. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is a large air conditioning unit. Look at these, dude, look at the meat on the back of this thing. 
double parachute. Badass, dude. Absolutely badass. That's big, dude. That's a big engine too. It doesn't even look that. It doesn't look like a 102 because the because the car's kind of big. I mean, Challengers are just big cars, but that's that's nuts, dude. You think it's fast? It's got two parachutes on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we got we got satin purple nation over here for Kayla. The uh, Evo over here. Looks pretty good. Dude, Evo 9? Hello. I haven't seen one of these in a minute, dude. These used to be like so freaking popular when I when I was younger. I mean, you just never see them anymore, unfortunately. Or I never see them at least. Maybe they're around, I'm not on the forums, you know. Like the bronze. The bronze, yeah, I'm like, yeah, the dress up. Yeah. Yeah, it looks Turbo, good. Everything. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. So I already got satin purple nation, but we also have gloss purple nation. Well C5. That C5's got drag radials on it. I wonder what he's got going on under, under the hood. That's a huge wing. The question is, does it have the power to justify the wang? Doubtful. Doubtful. Yeah. That's what, uh, it does look good. That's what Will's wing's gonna look like. That is what Will's wing's gonna look like, yeah. That is a wang. That is a wang, if I've ever seen one. Big wang gang. That's right. That's clean. That's clean. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. You gotta love stuff like this that's totally basically restored and you know properly maintained obviously reupholstered and stuff but pure, everything's everything's period correct right that's that's the main that's the main thing jamie your old man is showing <laughs> no it's clean i thought it was a 34 it's a 33 33 yeah looks well, nice isn't it funny how they used to have like the exterior side sills on these cars like way back when just it's just so weird looking you had to have your tommy gun hang out the window yeah, that's, yeah. Why. <laughs> that's right that's right yeah mobster movies <laughs> they serve the purpose more purple everyone's rocking purple kayla this is your car show everyone's everyone's driving purple cars that thing is loud that thing is loud large twins you can hear them dude you can hear the turbos all the way out here oh did we walk right past that? No, it just rolled in. Oh. I thought I was going crazy. I was like, do we walk right past that? There's a super Legero over here. Very nice. I feel like you don't see many Gallardos at all anymore. Yeah, it's in very good condition. Uh, so that's pretty much the VIP section, right? But that's not even half the show. This is pretty, this is pretty big. There's a big turnout on it. Yeah, he said 3,400 confirmed people. 3,400 confirmed. Oh, confirmed cars. Confirmed cars. He expected 6,000 people. Jesus. Well, actually, it's, uh, it's past six o'clock now, so let's get the drone in the air. I'll see you guys in the sky. Supra, Jamie. This will decimate all. You gotta make the Fast and Furious reference. Remember, you see a Supra, two JZ, no. Yeah. Shit. As if you're surprised to see a two JZ in them. We're not surprised, but you know, that's. Now this is the part where it's like, now we're looking for the hidden gems. We did the VIP section. We knew everything was gonna be good in there, obviously. But what else is here is the question. Chris's car is here. So he actually rode up with us this uh, ZL1. I didn't do my intro until we actually got here, so you guys didn't see that, but he actually rode here with us in the ZL1 wrapped by finishing touch in Nardo Gray. Very nice Mach 1. Okay, looks uh, pretty well kept, actually. Let's see if I can get a better shot of it from back here. It's badass. Fun fact, this is what my dad had when I was born. Oh, for real? Yep. Nice. 1972 Mach 1, 351 Cleveland. See, I need you in the vlogs, Jamie, because you can tell me all the old 
it that I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what else we got. Come on, parking lot. Give us something. Give us something. Oh, I love them, dude. I love them so much. And it's dumped. It's on bags, dude. Bag type R. Here we go. We asked and the parking lot delivered. Yes. That windshield is way too dark. I love that exhaust, dude. Dude, look at the size of that. It's like bazookas. Dude, that's like as big as my Corsa is on my, on my vet. I like it, dude. Love the Type R. Love them. Give him a shout out. Bagged FK8. Oh, there's another one. Hey, look at that. McLaren GT. Oh, dude, the parking lot is, is providing for us today. Yep. <laughs> Content wise, little McLaren GT action. Very nice. Looks pretty stock, but very nice. Nonetheless. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, get out of here, dude. I don't know if that's going to come through on camera, but it's actually a very dark bronze. You're right. That's crazy. I feel like I have to stand over here to see it. I don't know if this is coming through on camera very well, but it's actually dark. I thought it was black when we walk up to it. It's super dark, but it, it, that looks awesome, man. That's such a cool paint job. Blue, I don't know what this blue is called, but the blue type art. Love this color. Kind of like rapid blue on the C8 similar that like super glossy baby blue that actually kind of looks like a wrap but isn't z6 i didn't even realize there was a z6 right behind me dude the parking lot is like legit hello jamie tell the good people what they're looking at what year is it i don't know the year this is probably a 1970 could be a 69 what dodge challenger might be a 71 he says i wasn't real big on dodge old muscle Okay. Ford Old Muscle, I can tell you all of them. Mm. That's Jamie's way of saying, I only know what my dad had. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Oh, I saw this pull in, dude. ZR1. Absolutely. All day, every day. Corsa? Nice. This thing sounded good. I'm rolling in. It looks mostly stock, but I don't remember if it was this one. There was 73 yeah. Challenger? Yeah. How do you know? Because the date the glass was manufactured is etched in the original glass. Ah, the glass gave it away. <laughs> Aha. See, this man works for VW, so he knows the little tricks on how to spot that sh Nice, dude. Yeah, I don't remember if it, I was going to say on uh, on this car, I don't remember if this one was, there was a couple of them that came in at the same time, and I don't remember if this was the one that was chopping or not. I don't know if it has a cam in it or not, but he's got some stuff done. I see a Mighty Mouse catch can, intake, Corsa exhaust. He's got a Gates belt on it. It might have been cammed. It's at least got headers on it. It has full exhaust, yeah, for sure. 92 LX. Is it a 5.0? It is a 5.0. And those are the 10th anniversary cover oil. So what you're saying is instead of making three horsepower, it makes four. Yeah. yeah. Stock this car made uh, 215 horsepower motor. That's like barely more than Kayla's Civic makes. It's crazy how far everything's come, you know? I mean, back in the day, that was a fast car, but. Yes, uh, it was. Yo, CTSV. Oh yeah, there's a Cobra over there. There's even more nice stuff on the next track. Yeah. Oh. Cobra? Dude. Yes, yes. Look at the Toyota Camry interior. Yes. Dude, these things were gnarly back in the day. I remember these. Huh? <laughs> no, it's badass, man. For real. Very well kept. Does it actually have that many miles on it? How many? 196,000, holy crap. So they drive it, hell yeah. Absolutely, man, that's awesome. Dude, that's really clean for that high mileage. Almost 200K on it. Well done. All I have to say about that, well done. I got nothing bad to say. Excuse the joke about the Toyota Camry interior. Toy charger. And you got the kids in the back, hell yeah. Hell yeah. A little family car chopping with the with the Pro Charger on it. I love it. Got a CTSV coming in. Dude, another dealer tag. Civic Type R. S2000. Hell yes. Love the S2000, dude. I've always liked that car. Yep, Grand National and the OG NSX. Looks very nice. We've got the mirror so you can see the exhaust. I like it. Oh yeah, look at the little turp ski. All right. I didn't see the blow off hiding over there at first. And Jamie's right with the mirror, you can see the turp ski. The bottom mount turp ski there hanging out. Love it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the color scheme on this one, but there is another Type R and I like Type R's. So I like seeing a lot of them out here. Guys, what a turnout tonight. There are people parked across the street, behind that gas station, down the street, several, like a couple dealerships over. And like, this is just, absolutely packed i know that there were like 3400 confirmed cars or whatever and i'm pretty sure like all of them showed up because this is absolutely insane 
There was some more stuff that rolled in that I wanted to make sure I get in the vlog. So this GTR rolled in. This thing is super, super clean. Wide body, chassis mount wing, deep dish, bronze wheels, love it. There's a CT5B black wing here. Haven't seen one of these in person yet. Super sick. Obviously the successor to the CTSV. Uh, we got C8 here. But the one thing that I missed earlier when we walked through that is here now. Underground racing, Lamborghini Huracan. So sick. Obviously there's people crowded around it because it's a badass car, but. Haven't actually seen a UGR car in person yet. Love the full power tag. Got the 18s in the back with the meat. When you know it's getting serious. Although, man. Man, go to a tire shop that has black wheel weights. How are they gonna do you like that? Put the gray wheel weights on that, on that car? Come on. Whatever shop balance your wheels, man, they need to step their game up. So what do you guys think? I'm loving it, man. Awesome turnout. Awesome cars, awesome food. Yeah, the food trucks are actually pretty good. We just, we just ate finally. We're eating out of the back of Jamie's trunk. That's the only thing it's good for. That is, that is actually the only thing that the trunk in this car is good for. We we demonstrated that on the G-Force Rally, that uh, it's basically useless. You can barely fit two carry-ons on it. And aside from that, you're screwed, because there's no front. <laughs> and Jamie's car's been getting a lot of love all day. Obviously, a lot of people haven't seen the new NSX. It's a super rare car. So just, you know, awesome to see people appreciate it, though. There were four other NSXs here. I got one of them on, uh, or sorry, there were three other NSXs here, four including Jamie's. And I got the red one on camera, but there were two black ones that rolled in, and they rolled out already. Now, here's the crazy part. It is almost 8 o'clock. This started at six we got here at five because we we're in the vip area it started at six and there's still backed up traffic all the way down the street i got it in the drone shot before but i did the drone at like six at like like pretty much at the start of the event there's still backed up traffic people try to get in literally right now as we speak there's a hellcat right there you can tell that these people are coming for the show there's a crx pulling into the gas station over there like it's it's just, it's crazy. There's not enough parking. We filled up an entire dealership and then some. I think, you know, resounding success, obviously. Great, great event. Uh, shout out to everyone who organized it. Shout out to Auto Nation here in Johnson City for hosting us. Really awesome event. Really cool, too. Uh, they did have police presence the whole time, so no shenanigans, uh, no fights or any dumb stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's been like just an awesome event and we're having a great time. Samson is. Obviously drawing a crowd as he leaves. That thing sounds so sick. Hi, Samson. <laughs> One of our fellow Tennessee Drivers Club members. He's not even moving and that thing sounds sick. All right, guys, we're rolling out. Uh, we got a two hour drive back home and it's 8.30. It's still light out, but you know, we got to roll. So anyway, resounding success. A lot of fun at this show. As usual, hope this video is entertaining. I'll see you guys next time. Guys, check it out. They're parked all the way down the highway. This is insane. We're trying to leave and it's packed. Oh my God, we're meeting up with Jamie's friend and then we're heading back. I know I already did my sign off, but I just had to show you guys like how insane this event actually is. We're like in two parking lots over and there's like, all these cars here, absolutely nuts. Totally sick. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.